I'm going to quickly show you how to create a Google Classroom banner in Canva. I am setting up my summer programming. I want it to be really um, happy and welcoming to the students. And so let me just basically take you through. So right now I have in front of you just my basic Canva. I have a paid subscription. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to the very top uh, let me just minimize myself, get myself out of the picture so you can see that. Uh, I'm going to go right up to the top um, and type it. Well, I already typed it in Google Classroom Banner. And then I am taken to this page where there's a whole bunch of choices. I mean, I could really get bogged down in all of that and be like, ooh, feeling super overwhelmed. Um, but I think I'm going to look for, <clears throat> I like this one. Uh, it's kind of got some of my colors in it. And so it just says, welcome to Mrs. Drew's class. So I'm going to customize this and let me share this right here. Okay. So it says, welcome to Mrs. Drew's class and the class that I'm actually preparing for. And let me share this tab with you is my summer reading adventure camp for K through 12. So I'm going to have to decide, do I want it to say, welcome to Mrs. Ewing's class, or do I want to say, Welcome to Summer Reading Adventure Camp. And I think I'm gonna say, Welcome to Summer Reading Adventure Camp. So let's get right back to it. Okay, I'm just gonna change this to, uh, I'm also gonna change the size because I already know it's gonna to be too big. So let's go with 32. Um, welcome to Summer Reading Adventure Camp. All right. And, you know, I like the font and everything else. The thing is, is I might move this over just a little bit because what, ha I, what I've found out is that there will be some print in the lower left-hand corner. So I'm just going to move this over just a little. It's going to look a little odd in here, but I think it's going to turn out okay. So it looks like that's lining up. And then I'm going to save that uh, as a, um, I'm going to push the share button and say download, excuse me, as a PNG. Um, I don't know that I need a transparent background. Uh, I might compress it though. Um, I'm going to compress it and download it. And because I have, um, the paid version, I'm able to do that. Back in my Google classroom and I'm going to come up to the top where it says customize and I'm going to select the photo. Actually, may, maybe I'll upload the photo. Okay, and I'll select that from my computer. And you might not be able to see it, but it's in my downloads. It's gonna upload that photo. Okay, and remember how I kind of had that off-centered a little bit, and I did that on purpose because I it's gonna say the words in the lower left-hand corner, but I do, I like the purple a little bit more, so I'm gonna just make sure I get some of that purple in there because I like that. Um, I want that to be way at the top because I know that there's going to be some, some colors there. And I'm going to select the theme. If I don't like it, I will fix it. So we'll select that. Okay. And oop, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to push save. And now we can, okay, still have all of this down here. So I think I'm going to come in and fix this because I don't want the words on top which is great to know. So let me just stop the recording. I'll make those changes and I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, I really made the font a lot smaller and I made, I, I just shrunk everything. So you can see how now when they see it here, they can see the Summer Reading Adventure Camp for K-2 and then it says, Welcome to Summer Reading Adventure Camp. What, another thing that I could have actually done um, is I could have put my picture up there or something like that, but it's not about me, it's about them. And I'm also kind of curious to see what this looks like um, just in the banners. So I think I'm just gonna open up one of my students' rooms and then come back over to all of my classes. Let's just go to home. Okay, so it looks pretty good. It's uh, up here in the corner, it's kind of just there. So I think that's gonna work for me. I think I'm gonna leave that and that's just one quick way to personalize your banners inside of Canva. I hope that that was helpful.